All right, we're back. A few states away, a few months later, and uh, brand new location, and definitely a little bit warmer. But hey, we're back working on it. Um, it should go pretty fast after this point. Today, the big window. We're going on this door right here behind us. This door will, will remain fixed. I mean, we're gonna seal this thing up, countertop on the inside. It's gonna be kind of our kitchenette area. Same deal as the last windows here. This one is very, very similar. Um, just a little bit more unwieldy. Ready to throw it in? Yeah, we'll see. So one key difference other than size that differentiates this window from the smaller bunk windows that we put in is this gasket right here. The smaller bunk windows came with a gasket already pre-installed. We got to throw ours on and then we're going to use this piece of cardboard as a template uh, for our size. Essentially what we're going to do is trace it out, bring it on the inside and make our mark. So one thing Motion Windows recommends is to overlap just about an inch right here on your, uh, on your gasket. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Sweet, so let's cut out our template and then do some irreparable damage to the van. Essentially all I'm doing right now is just cutting out, or tracing this so I can cut out a template to be able to stick onto the van and we can get an accurate um, size representation of our window. So we can cut it out and hopefully not make too big or too small of a hole. All right, templates traced out. Let's cut this, throw it on the inside of the van. We'll level it out and then uh, drill some holes. We accidentally lucked out here because there was no way we could even fit a level into this little gap. I mean, we learned from the last one, but hey, it makes it even easier when you don't have to think about it. All right, so we got our template made, and now the next step is to come in here. You wanna make sure that your drill bit is on the inside of the line. This makes it where we can uh, put our cardboard template on the outside later. So we just wanna get an idea of exactly where our cutout is.
Neat. <laughs> Let's hope this jigsaw holds up and uh, then we'll dry fit this thing. All right. Whew. Just a little bit stressful. <sighs> no kidding. Good old moment of truth. Got it? Oh, man. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Good deal. All right, opening works. Let's throw some Rust-Oleum on here. Let it dry for, I don't know, like two to three minutes in this heat. Um, we'll slap our window in, water test it. We're good to go. So we're cheating and using a paper towel because we don't have a paint brush or a little dab brush. So just spraying a paper towel with Rust-Oleum. It's not like we're covering a whole lot of surface area or anything, just this edge that we cut.
All right, it only took two hours, 30 minutes longer than I guessed it would. But hey, we got our T-slider window in and uh, all that's left to do is water test it, which you've got a call, so I'll go out and give it a quick water test. But hey, it's more level than the other windows and... Uh, it actually worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think it'll work. For sure. I'm excited. We can sell tacos now. Hold up, we got one more thing to test out real quick. And it's looking like we're not leaking everywhere. I'm not seeing any leaks here at all, which uh, I can live with. Now you guys can go. That's all we have for you with the windows. In the next one, we'll be throwing on the roof rack which took us way, way longer than it needed to. But hey, it looks pretty good. So we'll see you there.